Well, I can sleep. Say it's hard to believe that it's April already, first of all, but looking back at March, kind of a crazy weather month for us. Yeah, it was. We got our summary from the National Weather Service today, and we found out that it was actually the eighth wettest March on record. So for more than 100 years of that, we've been documenting the eighth wettest. So we did get 2.41 inches total in the month of March. That's more than an inch uh, more than we usually see. And we actually did set a record on March 21st for the most rain that we saw on that day, almost an inch here in Bakersfield. So yeah, it certainly was a wet March and no rain tomorrow, but it's actually looking like we are going to get rain later this week. I'll have more on that in just a bit. But for tomorrow, we're looking at those 70s, 77 degrees expected in Bakersfield. Lows for tonight in those lower 50s here in the valley, 60s for our southern mountains, 59 degrees in Pine, Mon Pine Mountain Club and Bear, Bear Valley Springs, though. And then we're breaking through those 70s for our Kern River Valley and our desert communities. We're in those 70s into those 80s as well with winds picking up. So we can see tomorrow morning as you're dropping the kids off at school on your way to work, you're going to see these winds start to pick up into Hatchby over in our desert communities as well. And then as the day progresses, we're going to watch these winds picking up. By the time you're headed home from work, we're going to see these gusty conditions for our southern mountains to Hatchby getting past that 30 mile per hour mark. Kern River Valley as well. Desert communities could see winds up to 40 miles per hour. So it's going to be a gusty day coming on down though by after about midnight. So really just afternoon into the evening is when we'll see that those gusty conditions. Air quality staying in the moderate range. So this is actually better than what we saw today, thanks to those winds keeping our um, climate active. An AQI of 58, once again, that's in the moderate range for tomorrow. So 77 degrees is expected for Monday. That's warmer than where we should be for this time of year. We should be in those lower 70s. So the rest of the week we can see staying above that. So it's going to be a warm week uh, for sure. By Tuesday, warming up to 79 degrees, back to the 80s by Wednesday, and then those 80s sticking around through Friday. Friday night, we do have rain chances headed our way starting Friday night, continuing through Saturday, looking like they'll clear by about Sunday though. And we can see our temperatures will see this slight cool down as we head to um, those lower 70s by Sunday, but this is going to be pretty warm rain. So no snow anticipated for our mountain communities. Kernover Valley 70 degrees expected for tomorrow and then we do jump up to those mid 70s by the end of the week. Once again, a slight cool down for the weekend, but still staying nice and warm to hatch be 62 degrees for tomorrow with those gusty windy conditions. Briefly jumping up to the 70s but by the end of the week. Fraser Park 61 degrees for tomorrow and then staying in those 60s through the week. Once again, those rain chances starting up Friday evening into Saturday, but those lows staying well above that freezing point for those mountain communities, so no snow expected. You know what sucks? I what? just washed my car. No. Yeah, I just did. I just did. Uh, should have paid attention uh. <laughs> because, yeah, it's coming up. That always happens. Yeah. Right when you wash it, yeah. there it comes. All right, keep an eye on it. <laughs> Thanks, Leah. What doesn't 